All right, so we just did device output. Now we're going to do do recording. Do recording allows uh, NX Windows operators to trigger recording on a camera as a system action based on a specific event. Um, so when would you want to use this? Um, generally, you're probably going to be recording all the time just to make sure you get steady capture of, of the events that are happening in your system. You want to kind of want to do motion recording, motion based or motion plus low res or continuous recording. But let's say you're not, let's say you're recording at 10 frames per second and you want to knock up the frame rate to 20 frames per second based off of a specific event that occurs with the hopes that the, the remaining action that you see over like a, uh, the next minute is higher resolution or higher frame rate. But you can use the do recording action to do that. So I've gone in and set up a rule in the system and the rule is uh, when there's motion on the camera, DW fish eye, um, then I want the recording to go from 10 frames per second, which is what it is right now, to 20 frames per second. Okay, and I want to do uh, pre and post recording of 10 frames per second. So that's the rule I've set up. So based off of that, Nick reached in here a second ago, um, and it takes a little while to run. That's why we're doing this post. So you can see, so Nick, when he reaches in, uh, you're going to see the camera kind of flicker for a second. Um, and then you're going to see it come back online. So right now it's running at 10 frames per second. You see that down there in the left corner, right? As soon as Nick decides that he wants to grab the kettlebell, uh, my kettlebell, the thief, you see the camera flicker and you can see it's now 20 frames per second. Okay, so what that means though is that you lose a tiny bit of video. Uh, and the reason that you see that flicker is that changing the frame rate in the camera requires our software to basically update the OnViv profile or the profile in the camera or the camera settings to switch from 10 frames per second to 20 frames per second. So you're going to see a slight delay in, in what's going on there. So you can see it as it happens over and over again, right? Um, as the, the frame rate switches from 10 to 20. So it's not really a feature that you should, you should try and use to capture like specific events. It's more for like enhancing uh, the video on a specific event, right? Making sure you're capturing a higher frame rate or a higher resolution or higher quality. Once this one event has been triggered, you want to upgrade the quality of stuff that you're recording, right? Um, so that's um, do recording event. Uh, next up, we've got do HTTP requests. And this one, we're really not going to spend much time on. I'll show you how it works, but I'm not going to explain much about what you put in it. Right? Thanks.